Johnny, second place finish. How did it feel to be back battling up front with these guys? Uh, it was fun. Um, it's been a while, so just so proud of everybody at Thor Sport. This is our first in-house chassis, in-house body complete. And to come out here and run second like you did. And um, I called for an adjustment early in the race to just tighten it up a little bit. And at the end, it just was too much. So uh, I just hats off to Junior Joyner and Bud Hayfley and all the guys at Thor Sport. Um, it's fun, you know, this is the way it's supposed to be. And, that's what this whole deal is about, is just to try to go for wins. Were you surprised at the speed, or no, since, you know, this is what you expect? No, not at all. I mean, to start shotgun on the field and to finish second, that's a solid day. But um, I knew it was going to be good. I knew on lap two that we had something that we could race with. And um, just, ah, I wish I wouldn't have called for that adjustment. And uh, who knows? You, you think that's enough. But um, all in all, a solid night. And, um you know, the goal was to win, and we just came up one spot short. Working with Junior Joyner, how did that go tonight? Oh, it was awesome. He's he's fun. Um, you know, even when we weren't working together, we we have a lot of fun together. So he's, uh, he's a very enthusiastic kind of guy, and, um, you know, it's it's fun to be around people like that that that, uh, that want it. How does this come together, and how many more of these do you guys have together, do you know? Yeah, I mean, the, the whole plan was to run anywhere it's upwards of, of eight races or, or maybe less. It's kind of up in the air. So um, we kind of just cherry pick the racetracks that I like and maybe one or two that Bud and, and Joyner like. So um, hopefully it's more than, than less, but um, I don't know, it's just fun to, to, uh, to be with guys that really want to get it done. Surprise at all that like you start at the back of the field and you're able to get up front without getting torn up. Yeah, there was a couple times in the race tonight I thought I was getting wrecked. <laughs> um, and uh, a couple times I made some mistakes in traffic too. So um, I just knew it was going to be a good truck. I knew on lap two that, that the truck had good speed. I could just feel it. Uh, I've been doing this long enough to know. So um, no, I'm not surprised that we started at the tail of the field and got where we needed to be. Just I just wish we had one more pit stop. We could make one more adjustment. I think one of those instances is Haley Deegan, the one truck squeezing her into the wall. Was there anything specific with that or just? You know, I just space? got a little bit loose coming off the corner and, and ran into her. <laughs> so that was bad on me. So um, I just came up and got a little bit of tank slap and got into her. So that was that was not cool. The runs like this kind of fill up your tank and make you want it a little bit more? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I, you know, there's no question the last couple years haven't been uh, up to standard, shall we say. So um, it's cool to take a step back and, and uh, get reinvigorated. and. To have fun, you know, that's what this is all about. So it's refreshing to have a run like this to run part-time? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, to come here and get no practice and, uh, you know, obviously start shocking on the field and end up second, that's a solid day. So, um, but I know what, you know, the group of guys that are working on this truck, I know what they're capable of and second's just not good enough.